Are you bored of your vanilla Geometry Dash? Do you want to have a new Geometry Dash experience? Or you just want to be get noticed by partition and many fan game creators or showcasers? You are in the right video because today we, I'm gonna teach you how to make your own fan game plus an Android tutorial. Here I got instructions. This instruction is gonna be downloaded with this file, this GD fan game tools, link in the description below. Let's get in straight into it. But first, before we start, go listen to my song, link in the description as well. That's my best song so far, I put my heart into it. I hope you liked it as well. Well, back into the video. Here's the full instruction, you know. And yep, there's an Android tutorial as well, but let's... Let's just first start with the PC instructions. First of all, you need to install Notepad++ and APK Editor Studio. It is included in the GD Fan Game Tools version 2 bar file, so you need to download that link in the description. And once you have that, extract it in any interior folder. I prefer desktop because it's gonna be easy to like navigate into it. Here's Geometry Dash, Level Manager. I already installed APK Editor Studio and the Notepad++ as you can see here, here, it already has the Edit Notepad. So you will get that option once you install the Notepad++. Open Geometry Dash folder and click Geometry Dash. So let's open that. There you go, this, this is the Geometry Dash. And next is create a level, but don't upload this haha <laughs> I am matured guys I am very matured let's have that balls yep save and exit once you've done your level go into this link it will be in the description as well once you go into that website follow what I'm gonna do because it's not gonna be hard it's so easy man validate that you're not a robot alright once that's done click free access that's it you're gonna be able to go into the GD Save Explorer. This is made by GD Colon. Shout out GD Colon again. After you complete, you'll be redirected to the GD Colon Save Folder ex or Explorer. And it's here, it's this. Now go to your app data. Press, press Windows R. Here you can see this local update. O open that. Once you're here, go to Geometry Dash. As you can see, I have a lot of fun games never mind that we're just gonna drag the cc local levels here remember guys i have the level called unnamed zero and here it is this is the one i made so what's next you're gonna view raw xml data here's the string here's the level string here it is there will be a code that includes h4 whatever whatever something and this is it this is this is what it's talking about. Open level manager and locate your Geometry Dash folder. So what you're gonna do is open this. After you open this, locate here. Click this stuff and then locate your Geometry Dash folder here. This is your Geometry Dash folder. I entered it in the desktop. So once that's done delete all the levels or add it depends if you want to extend GD levels or if you want to delete and replace all of them so in my case i'm just gonna delete them delete them all add three levels my cock my poop and my balls all right so in my cock yeah this is the level name and this is the level song so in the level song you need to place a song that has a name my cock that mp3 inside the resources folder so it can detect the song name so for now i'm gonna make it easy this let's just say my poop mp3 where's the dot Let's put stars 3 and then normal. Yeah, yeah let's just do that. <laughs> and balls in your jaw. Alright, that mp3. 
you need to really make the, that mp3 format because it, it won't be able to detect it. After you've done that, press save and patch files. So that's done, we're not gonna touch it anymore because it's completely broken because of Robtop. Thank you Robtop. Now you need to go to geometry dash folder and go to resources. So this is the geometry dash folder. It was in the desktop, right? So what I'm, we're gonna do is press resources. Search for level data P list. So L you can see here is the level data P list here right here. So we're gonna edit with Notepad++. It should be installed by now if you have followed the instructions. And here it is. Here's the level stream. This is the level stream for Gmat for Stereo Madness, and you want to change that into your level. So this is where it, the Save Explorer comes in handy. Copy this stream up into this point, and then delete this stream here. Yeah, up to this point. Be careful, do not delete this string, string brackets, because it's part of the code. So if you delete that, the game will crash or something. And then paste. Once you've pasted the level string, delete the h 41 so up to the C part, because it's not necessarily needed. So once that's done, you can open Geometry Dash and see for yourself if it's working or not. As you can see, same style, still same style, but the levels are not anymore the same. Look, it's my cock, my poop, my balls. Let's see if my cock has been changed. And yep, it has been changed. It is confirmed to be changed. So for now, for your song to be included, you need to, you need to put a song that has a similar name where you put it. So, for example, copy this and rename it to your level name. Put it in the resources and open Geometry Dash again. See if the song has changed. Yep, it's changed. So, after that, you're done. Your fun game is ready. You're, it's up to you to change the text textures we're gonna go into android version now please take note you need a pc to work in an android fan game all right so with the android tutorial you need the apk editor studio as mentioned yep open that open apk editor studio on your pc yeah, i've already done that open geometry dash customizer apk which is included in the RAR file, so you need to really download that file. Oops, wait. Open APK and then select the Geometry Dash Customizer APK. And yeah, let's wait for it to unpack. Once it's done to unpack, go to Open Contents. And here you see Assets. You don't need this, but don't delete it. It's needed. But you don't need to like get it get rid of it but yeah here click in assets and then once you've done that open geometry dash folder that you've modified which is the desk which is in the desktop here resources or no res not resources here in levels copy this and paste it oh come on man paste it in assets there you go. Once you've pasted that, go to resources in the geometry dash folder you've modified and select all and then wait, select all of it and then copy copy it into your assets. And wait, let's wait for it to be done. There you have it. Once it's done, your fun game is ready. You just need to save APK. Let's name this as GD Cock or something. <laughs> there you go. Once it's done, your fan game is ready. It's ready to play. Here you have the GD Cock APK. Now let's test it in the Android in the Android emulator, shall we? There it is. Oh, there's an update. Remind later. 
there here's my emulator as you can see and now let's install this apk into that emulator let's go baby let's wait for it to install and let's see if it's changed anything all right once it's in but once it's completed let's go and test it out shall we same style but laggy because i'm on an emulator but look it's change. It's not stereo madness back on track or something anymore. And if you play this first level, it's gonna show the level you've created. Isn't it nice? Well, that's it. That's for, that's the tutorial, and I hope you liked it. I don't know how to make like Android fan game using Android only. So I don't know if it helps, but if it helps, you can subscribe and like this video because I will haunt you if you don't. Bye.